Yeah, guys, mine is a bit slower here. Yeah. yeah, it's uh, it's obviously been a very long time and um, it's been difficult since I arrived at the club and um, obviously the last couple of months I haven't even been really featuring in the team so mentally I had to stay strong and uh, keep myself fit and when the opportunity came I had to make sure I, I took the mo made the most of it and um, hopefully I did that and can keep my spot for Saturday. Was there any special preparation for this game? Or? Um, I actually felt pretty confident um, on, on Monday when I knew that I was going to be starting I, I felt quite confident and uh, told a few people that I feel like I'm going to Gonna break the ice, and um, what better way to do it than sitting up nice volley for me to, to put in the back of the net. And in, I think 13 months it was since you last uh, scored in an official game in, in, in the soccer league. I mean, just how different. I mean, obviously you could you could see the frustration time and time again, but just how, how difficult was that? Thing? Yeah, I think the, the hardest part is, is mentally trying to <laughs> trying to deal with. It. I mean. Ever since uh, I've arrived in the country, I've scored goals consistently, and and then uh, I got the move that I wanted to, to Sundowns, and I knew it was going to be difficult, but uh, I thought I would have adapted a little bit quicker and would have been a little bit easier for me. But the longer the um, the time goes without scoring, the, the more pressure you put on yourself, um, the more people start talking and um, <laughs> hide behind their phones on social media and, and give you a lot of stick. By the way, most of them are Pirates and Chiefs fans that have been doing it. <laughs> um, so I'm really looking forward to Saturday. And then, Jeremy, I mean, you, you, we see you as one of, maybe you and Togozani as the number nine here at Sundowns. And then when you guys are not scoring, especially I mean, for yourself, you're not scoring, and then they start trying guys like Tony Silva in, in, in that position, how did you feel about it? How, how did you take it? What did yeah, you say again, about Again, mentally, it, it tests you because um, I know... Tony and, and Pucker and that they like playing wide and then when they're getting uh, the, the number nine spot in front of you um, it, it makes things even uh, mentally tougher and, and plays with your mind a little bit more but I think um, the, the eight eight or nine games that I was sitting on the sideline for it gave me a lot of time to, to think about spend time with the family and, and um, keep getting a lot of support from the, from the close friends and family and um, yeah, it's, it's good to Good. Does the pressure go though? Does the pressure? I mean, when you were not scoring, everyone wanted you to score. Now you've scored. Does the pressure go? Because I'm, I'm thinking you'd want more for yourself. The yeah, I, are still I, saying. I definitely want more. Um, feel feel very good for Saturday, and I think um, now that the first one's out of the way uh, in a competitive game, hopefully they, they start free flowing a little bit more, and I can sort of keep myself in the starting eleven and, and help this club get to the top of the table where we should be. Yeah, uh, by the time uh, I came off the pitch, um, I was I was disappointed. Obviously, I, I felt that I could have had a couple more, but um, considering the circumstances of the last 13 months, I'm happy with one. Styles was made about styles and systems in terms of does Jeremy fit the way Sundowns play? Uh, in your assessment. Do you fit the way Sundance plays? I think uh, the way we played yesterday, yes. Um, we, we spoke about it a lot in the pre-match meeting. Um, the coach said we need to get more, more balls and more crosses into the box for, for the likes of myself to get on the end of. And um, Although Lebo's cross didn't find me directly, it was a mistake from the defender that allowed me to, to get into a position to score goals. So uh, I think um, if, if we can stick to that, um, not not the whole time, but um, if, if there are crosses coming into the box, that's obviously a strength of mine, and um, we've seen more goals than not. So not just to follow up on, on, on that question, I mean, which, which one does it have to be? Are you adapting to how the club plays, or the, the club sort of having to, at times, have some games tailor-made for you? Because that's been the hot topic since you joined. Yeah, I think obviously I got brought to this club, um, and. And everyone, well, I got brought to this club for a reason, and that's uh, for the goals that I was scoring. And uh, most of the goals that I scored at Super Sport were from from crosses and um, getting the ball in the box and and um, picking up little mistakes or, or finding spaces in the box to, to put it in the back of the net. So I think um, obviously the, the whole team's not going to change change for me, but m maybe when I when I am playing uh, on the pitch, um, a, a little adjustment. <laughs> Adjustment needs to be made. And then, Jeremy, you, you're talking about these fans who are too loud on social media. You're facing one of them on, on, on 
Saturday, how sweet is it going to be if you were to just shut them up? Yeah, it would be very nice. Um, obviously, I've got a very good record scoring goals against Pirates. I've um, got some good memories of, of the Ned Bank final wins. So, um, we've got a, it's, a, it's an important game. Obviously, they're top of the table and they've been doing well in the transformation transforming into to the Pirates of old. So um, hopefully we can get a result there in front of our home fans. And um, we haven't been playing the best ourselves this season, but um, to, to score three goals yesterday was, was very rewarding for the team. Jeremy, it's arguably a new team that's, that's you know, ascended as the Pirates. In a way, it's in the transitional phase of, of the club. When do you expect this team to really click and, and challenge the Yeah, it's, it's been disappointing to get knocked out of the, the two competitions so far, the MT Nate and Telcom, because we feel like we've got a good enough squad to, to, to win every competition that we're playing. And obviously there is going to be teething problems, but I still think that we've got a good enough good, good enough players individually to to change a game. For example, Gaston's couple of, last couple of strikes, um, the individual brilliance when things aren't quite clicking um, can, can get a result for you. So... Uh, I don't know in terms of a time frame, but uh, I know that we've got a good enough squad to be competing and, and the Champions League starting again soon too. So um, hopefully yesterday scoring three goals, winning it at home for the first time in the league, um, it's a good confidence boost for the boys. And then Jeremy, I mean, in, in the last season you guys knew that when things were not working out, you could always look up to Pesita to just create something of a, a magic moment. Is, is that something that you look for, from from from, from Gaston and then do you guys see him as maybe a, a passive player? Yeah, I, a, a I think they're different different types of players, but I think um, yeah, you can you can um, put them in the same bracket of being able to change a game at any time. And um, it looks like Gaston now is, is um, being the player that the club brought him brought him here for. Is um, you can tell by the some of the challenges that are getting put on him now that if you give him too much time and space, he's going to hurt you. So. He's not only got the finishing ability, but um, a couple of balls into the box last night were very classy, and um, it's, it's good to see him settled now and, and playing good football. What does a good season look like for you? I mean, you scored your first goal about a month if you're back. In terms of targets for yourself, what do you think? Of ah, I always want to get into double figures. I um, want to challenge for for the golden boot for the for the league. Um, well, I don't think I think the, the top scorer is only on three. Or something like that. So I've gone, I've gone 13 months uh, without a goal, but I'm two two goals behind the golden boot leader. So um, that's that's obviously still a, a goal for for every striker and, and on the different. But you may not be you may not have been scoring, and whatever you say may you, you may get stick for it. But what does that say about our finishing in the PSL? 13 months without scoring, you score one, you two behind the top goal scorer. Ah, it's. Oh, in the position that I'm in, it's nice <laughs> because uh, I, can, I can see the see the top. But um, I think I'm not sure how many goals in, in total have been scored this year. But I, I know some a lot of clubs have, have had a variation of, of goal scorers. It's not just coming from from one player. But um, to, to win trophies, you do need a, a main goal scorer. And um, hopefully, now that the first one's gone, I can be the first one. Goals aside, uh, your personal reflections on your performances, even without the goals, do you think you've done enough? Uh, it's for the whole time I've been here, probably not. Uh, but then also, um, a lot of the appearances I've had have, have been just short little stints off the off the bench um, when we're when we're winning games. So um, hopefully now, after after starting yesterday, and I get another start on Saturday and can consistently keep myself in the eleven. Um, uh, and then consistently put out performances, uh, whether that's scoring goals or contributing to the team winning. Just on Saturday, and Pirates are a, a, a team that plays with a lot of energy. And, you know, they've got really skilled players. What do you expect from them on Saturday? Yeah, more of the same, really. I think um, their style of play hasn't changed um, since the, the new coaching staff's taken over, but they're, they're a little bit more structured and um, when, when it comes to defending. I know from playing them in the past, they, they still go forward with a lot of numbers, but they, they leave um, 